Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. And in this tutorial, I'd like to show you one simple but very important setting that will help your website look its best in any browser. You have to remember when you're designing a website, your audience is looking at your website or your web page in any number of ways. Some people have smaller monitors, and some people have big monitors, and some people stretch their browser to fill the screen. Some people shrink their browser window down to a smaller size. Maybe they have multiple browsers open. So it's important to design your website to be as universal as possible. And there's one simple setting you can use that will help that. So let's talk about that a little bit. First of all, notice that the size of my canvas here is set by the ruler that goes across the top. This particular canvas is somewhere in the 990 pixel range. I'll show you how I know that. When I right click on the canvas and go to page properties, I can set the width of my page right here. This one happens to be 994 by 768. Well now why, why those numbers? Well here's why. Because I'm using a preset here, which is the 1024 by 768 pixels. That's a fairly common monitor size for most users. Most people have larger monitors these days. For a while, a lot of people had monitors that were around 800 pixels wide. And when that was the case, we designed our sites to be a little bit narrower. And if you want to do that, you can. That would make your page width be around 770. And watch, when I choose that, you'll notice that the menu at the top, or rather the ruler at the top, shrinks down to accommodate that. If I'm going to design a site for that screen size, I have to make sure that my objects stay within this range. So if I'm going to bring in a banner, that banner would need to fit within that range as this one does here. If the banner was bigger, like this, which this originally was, it would it would run off of the screen, so to speak. Or at least it would run out of my design area. So, but in most cases what I like to do is I like to design my sites for slightly larger monitors, not only because that's what most people are using these days, or a lot of people, and more and more people will be using larger monitors, but it's my, I happen to be using a large monitor, so I like to be able to see the site that way myself. So that's why I've chosen that particular setting. However, there's still a limitation. I want to make sure that I don't put images over here like this. See how the image would run away from my workspace. I want to make sure I stay within this area. Okay, so now let's talk about centering. If I wanted this object to be centered on the web page, I want to pay attention to the ruler. I want to be in the center of the ruler, not the center of the canvas. I mean, center of the canvas, you know, it's kind of like this. But that's an illusion. I have to remember that I'm working within the framework of the rulers. So the center of my canvas or the center of my web page is actually somewhere in here. So let's say I wanted my banner to do that. Let's bring in another object just so I can demonstrate what's going to happen. Let's say I want to put an arrow here for some reason. Now watch what happens when I preview this web design, and I'm hitting F5 to do that. I can look at what my website's going to look like in a browser. And here's a browser window. And again, some people's browser windows might be this big. Some people's browser windows will be bigger. But I want you to see what happens as I stretch the browser window. You'll see that as I make it go bigger, the objects stay exactly where they were placed. This is called absolute positioning. And you'll see that they do not move. That may be good, or it may not be good. It depends on what we want to accomplish, which I'll show you here in a second. So as I adjust the size of my browser window, because again, people's browser windows will all be different. Most people will be you know, somewhere around here, and I want my website to look right in their browser, here's what I should do. Let's close this preview. Very simple setting. I'm going to right click on the canvas and again go back to the page properties where I'm going to select this feature. It usually defaults to do not center this page, but let's choose center this page in the browser window horizontally. Now watch what happens. Just by changing that one setting, when I click OK, I'm going to preview the website by clicking F5. You'll see that it behaves differently. First of all, it brings up my browser so that my images were in the center of the browser, but watch what happens. As I stretch the browser, you'll see that the images accommodate the size of my browser. Now there's a limitation of that that's going to stop right here because I designed my site to, to uh, have my banner start this many pixels in. So that's always going to be there. But as I stretch 
the browser window, my site will accommodate it. In most cases, this is what you want to do. You want that setting in such a way so that when people see your website, your images, your layout will be centered in their browser window. That's really all there is to it. Now the best thing for you to do is to experiment with different things. You might see what happens when you drag the images over to the corner. I'll do that real quick so you can see what happens. You'll notice that it, again it started out in the center. See even though I put the banner all the way in the corner, why is there a white space here? Well it's because it's centering it in the size of the window that I have. So as I shrink this down, you can see it would then go, it will move the images into the right spot. If the, if the browser window is wide, it will accommodate accordingly. So if somebody was viewing my website on a really, really wide screen like I have right here, you can see that it would work just fine because it would center it. And if they were viewing it on a really, really small screen like maybe a laptop, it might look like this. So my recommendation is to, two things. First of all, make sure that you're working within the parameters of your ruler. Don't put things beyond the ruler. Don't put images outside of the ruler. And always use the center of this page in the browser window horizontally feature. Always have that turned on. And again, I suggest this size for a monitor. 1024 by 768, but you might find it easier to work with a different one, or you might have a huge monitor and you might want to uh, make it even bigger, and that's fine too. But that's basically the general settings for controlling how your website looks on multiple browsers. And no matter what web design software you use, you want to experiment because there's a lot of different browsers, there's a lot of different computers, a lot of different screen sizes. So web designers try to accommodate what's universally popular so that it looks right in most cases. It's that simple. Remember to choose that setting in the page properties of 90 Second Website Builder.